Hi there everyone, Coach Steve here with some injury prevention hints and tips. No one wants to get injured during the season because if we remain uninjured, we get more consistent, we get most of the plan done, and then we get our goals. So some options here for session specific tips and also non-session specific tips that if you start doing more regularly, you will reduce your risk of injury. From a session point of view, um, never skip or rush your, your warm up or cool down exercise they're there for a reason either warming up the muscles or letting the body kind of like cool down after a hard session and um, stretching and using activation exercises to get your core muscles firing before a hard session is very very useful and allows you to absorb the impact of that session better if you need to move things around in the plan avoid putting two hard sessions back to back and when i mean hard i mean like a tempo run in the morning or a threshold bike that evening because you're pushing your body into two very hard uh, intense sort of train sessions that wears on the body that's why you'll see that most of the sessions there's a hard swim and then maybe an easy bike or there's a hard run and then an easy bike that afternoon as well these are designed to avoid overloading the muscles. Um, after a session, the body was looking for uh, glycogen or carbs to replace glyc depleted glycogen levels, which you can uh, help it by getting some carbs in you from every 15 minutes after it. Um, or And again, the body's also going to look for protein to help kind of repair the micro tears. As I said, when you... Uh, really kind of stretch the muscle in that session and it's looking for that within 30 minutes so um, try to plan your meals accordingly but if at a pinch chocolate milk and a banana are super for ticking both of those boxes there's carbs in there there's a, a bit of protein in the chocolate milk um, and it helps to tick those boxes in terms of your kind of non-training um, activities you can do to help minimize a risk of injury, um, eating healthy is going to really help your body if you're giving it the right nutrients and proteins and uh, vitamins and minerals to um, kind of help the body get its energy levels back and it repairs kind of, um, as I said, uh, stressed muscles. Um, so eat healthy. Um, Nightly foam rolling and stretching in front of the TV is a cool habit to have because it um, means you can still watch the TV. It means you're not missing your favorite episode of Game of Thrones or whatever. But instead of just sitting on the couch, you're stretching your hamstrings, stretching your, your calf muscles, stretching your quads, and you might be even foam rolling. It's just good time management. Um, yoga and Pilates on rest days is really, really good. Um, Again, this helps us get more flexible, kind of stretches out the muscles, engages our core. These are things that will help us sort of um, our body absorb training impact later on on the hard days. Respect your rest days and recovery weeks. They're in there for a reason. Do not feel guilty about taking a rest day. Do not feel guilty about a recovery week. These are really important, allowing your body's energy levels um, come back and your, your body to absorb the uh, stress and strain of the, the hard training block before and your muscles come back stronger if you allow them to rest and um, for those who can a sports massage and a recovery week is a really good idea it just helps um, stretch out the muscles that have been kind of wound up your IT band your um, piriformis all these muscles which are harder to get with our standard stretches of uh, sports mr. goods and sports masseuse will get really in there and um, will help you kind of keep kind of nice and stretched uh, loosened out for the season and um, find a good physio and uh, and trust what they say if you do have a niggle and they go and say listen I don't want you running for four days follow that advice and um, do not go on the internet and try to find listen I've got a sore calf the internet doesn't know you the internet cannot touch your, your calf muscle the internet does has no qualifications Go to a good physio if you're feeling niggles um, and trust them. They are experts in their field. Um, omega-3 and supplements can be useful. Um, omega-3 specifically, if you don't eat a lot of fish in your diet, this helps. Um, this is a key supplement that, that will help your um, with DOMS and uh, just general recovery. 
Um, but just be very wary about what you're putting in your body. Be um, you're responsible uh, to know what's going in there. Um, and if you're eating a good healthy diet, you possibly don't need supplements. But again, if you don't have a lot of fish, omega three is your friend. Last thing is um, for helping recovery is just getting good quality sleep. The body regenerates when it's in uh, in rapid eye movement or REM sleep. Um, it sort of rebuilds, allows mu muscle tissue tissues to re-stitch themselves together. You replenish your energies. Never underestimate the benefits of a good night's sleep. Okay, guys, there's my uh, top. 10 i'm gonna say hints and tips for keeping any um injuries at bay um i hope this was useful um and i do hope you have an injury free season if you like the content and you think that this would be useful um go to my channel via uh, on this youtube link and click like and subscribe it means that any other videos i upload which will be helpful as part of your training or on the training plan you're on in general you'll get updates for them okay guys have happy training